Oh, hey, you're here to see the game room. Come on in. Get ready for this. This is the new one. Useless. All oh, useless. I was a man. Yes. So guys, this is it. Welcome to my new game room. It's taken a long while, but I'm finally pretty much 100% moved in, so I wanted to take a little bit of time to show you guys what it's looking like so far. This is the room where I'm going to be playing all my games, and more importantly, this is the room where I'm going to be filming everything for you. So let's take a look around. Where to start? Well, I figure the best place to start is what you guys have already seen so many times before, and something I'm probably the most proud of my NES collection. So guys, as if you have seen so many, many times before, behind me is my NES collection. For those of you who follow along, my NES Complete Collection Chronicles currently sit at 677 NES games, which means I'm only 91 away from having the complete North American Nintendo Entertainment System collection according to the Nintendo Age. I gotta say, it's probably the piece of my collection I'm proudest of. Specifically because it's also the system that when I took out all my old games and I got to collecting again, that I kind of actually had the least of. I only had about 11 of my childhood games remaining. Like, I had lost some of them, but you know, it's something I just started picking away at, and it's the system that I'm most familiar and I'm most in love with, so... Yeah, my NES collection. Uh, I'm not really going to go into detail of what games I have in the collection. Like, you guys can go back and look through the extensive library of my NES Complete Collection Chronicles to see that if you want to know any specific games, but I've got some really good ones. Uh, one in particular that a lot of people talk about... Samson! That's right, I got Samson. I do have one of the super expensive games. One. Now this is one of the things I'm probably the happiest about with my new game room. If anybody saw in my old game room, I really didn't have a lot of room to put a lot of my games up, so I ended up having to put shelves over the walls, and the games were kind of everywhere. Before I actually moved, I picked up new shelves that just didn't fit in the old game room, but thankfully through the way I removed things here, I was able to put in two new shelves that are exactly the same as my Super Nintendo shelf, which you guys may or may not have seen before a couple times in the past. So anyways, now I have this really cool kind of surrounding section of shelves going out there where I got pretty much all the rest of my games for other systems. Uh, right back there I've got Super Nintendo games. That's been pretty familiar for a long time. I always kind of showed those off. I'm sitting at around 170 Super Nintendo games. Not a huge collection, but one I'm starting to get pretty respectable. Um, I don't really have anything super cool, like I've got Mega Man 7, uh, Mega Man Soccer, Castlevania Dracula X, but no real super expensive game, like I don't have Metal Warriors, but well, I have Earthbound, that's an expensive one. Yeah. yeah, I think that's it. Anyways, just below that, you'll see my N64 collection just down here. Nothing too big there. Uh, pretty much the majority of my N64 games are the ones I've had ever since I was a kid. Below that, you'll see my beautiful TurboGrafx-16 collection, just right here. Currently sit at, I think it's like 50 games, which is well over the halfway point to uh, pretty much 50% of the North American TurboGrafx-16 card collection. 
And below that, I have my PlayStation library. I don't, yeah, you can see it right down there on the bottom. My PlayStation library, I'm gonna be honest with you, it's mostly RPGs. That's what I was into in the PlayStation era. So moving right along, you'll see over along on this wall, this is where I have most of my, I don't know what generation it was, fifth generation games. So right here I've got my Nintendo GameCube games, uh, pretty much, again, this is mostly the collection I had when I was younger, although I went and picked up some games I missed, like I missed out on Eternal Darkness, so I went back and got that one, I'm pretty excited to finally have this in my collection. It's amazing though, like I've been looking for this game for forever, but... And then I don't have time to play it. Goes figure, right? What else do I got there? Uh, Metroid Primes. I've had uh, Pikmin, 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 Pikmin One and Two. Those are games that, for some reason, I got Pikmin Three for the Wii U, and really excited me. Like I wanted to go back and try Pikmin. So Pikmin One and Two, yeah, they're okay. I'm pretty excited about that. You go further along that line, and you'll see my small Dreamcast collection. Um, pretty much 100% of those games are games that I had ever since I was a kid. I think I might have picked up Skies of Arcadia was one I got later on in the line. You know, a lot of games here I've always wanted to go back and play and finish. Like D2 is one I've had since I was a kid and I've just never finished. Resident Evil Code Veronica and Shinmu we bought opening day and I still have never played. Along here you've got pretty much uh, my small 3DO collection. Uh, everything's out. The big boxes are the ones that don't have the smaller CDs inside. The rest of the big boxes are in that Panasonic 3DO box up there, which I'll show you a little bit later. Probably the game I'm most proud about having, and of course now I can't find it, for the 3DO, the ultimate game. The definitive edition of Super Street Fighter 2, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo on the Panasonic 3DO. Yeah, that's the one to have, Street Fighter fans. Coming along a little bit further down, you're going to see my PlayStation 2 collection, which actually is pretty sizable. And much like the PlayStation 1, when I was into the PlayStation 2, it was mostly all RPGs, so pretty much my collection focuses mainly on that including my favorite game for the PlayStation 2 and probably one of my favorite RPGs of all time, Dragon Quest VIII. This game's fantastic. What else do I have? I've got some other good ones. Well, Devil May Cry, you can get back up there, friend. Dark Cloud 2. Dark Cloud 2 is another excellent, excellent game. I was so excited, I actually picked this up brand new for $10 from Walmart. They were selling off. They couldn't even sell them. And I mean, I remember at the time, this game got a perfect 10 score from IGN, and I said, well, I have to try it, and yeah, it's undoubtedly fantastic, really, really cool game. Below that, I have my Xbox collection, which honestly, I feel terrible about, because it's actually a really good collection. I've got a lot of really good games, like Knights of the Old Republic and Knights of the Old Republic 2. Uh, I've got the original Ninja Gaiden, House of the Dead 3, which I love. But I never have my Xbox hooked up. I, I really gotta change that. I've got a little bit more room now, but I don't have a port, like actual uh, AV port for it to go into. So I'm gonna have to do something about that and see if I can get another AV switcher and add my Xbox back into my collection. On the other side of there, you've got some long box PlayStation 1 games that uh, basically just don't fit in with the smaller PlayStation 1 games. Uh, one I'm really excited about is I actually have Street Fighter the movie long box for PlayStation 1. The cool thing about this is most long box PlayStation 1s come in these kind of like, I, I really hope you can see this here, but they come in a specific packaging that's unique to the PlayStation. It's kind of like a plastic case where Street Fighter 2 the movie actually came in a big glass case, kind of like a uh, Sega CD game, so that's really cool. That's the only PlayStation game I have like that. Oh, that's not going back. Below that, I have, right on the bottom, I have my very small Sega Master System collection. Uh, probably only got about 40 games. 
But I've got some really good ones. Like I've got the first ease to banish omens. And what else do I have here that's really cool? Oh, Govelius. Valley of Doom. This is one I'm super excited I finally found. No Golden Axe Warrior though, so. So guys, here's a section I'm really excited about. This is my Sega Genesis collection. I actually love my Sega Genesis collection, especially since it's all in the clamshells. I don't really collect loose games unless I absolutely have to. And I'm not a repro guy for labels, but with the Sega Genesis, I really don't mind actually making my own reproduction cases out of old Genesis cases. So if I get a really cool game, like I just got Landstalker on the Sega Genesis, that's actually right here. So I just got Landstalker, which was uh, actually uh, recommended through a review by my buddy Derek, Super Derek. He did a really cool review on it, so I'm excited to finally have this. I'm definitely going to print off a case for that. I also have Troubleshooter, which is an amazing game, so yeah, I'll probably have to make a label off for that one as well. Anyways, this is my Sega Genesis collection. Uh, finally alphabetized this. I'm going to be honest with you guys, outside of my NES collection, like, I, <laughs> I was horrible for alphabetizing, but Everything's alphabetized now. I struggle with the Sega Genesis collection because especially where a lot of the cases are different colors, like especially you've got the red end labels and then you go back to the classic kind of like black grid material. I was thinking originally I wanted to keep all the black grid games together, but then you've you gotta separate the Sonic games and it just becomes a nightmare. So I decided to go alphabetized even though in my opinion it's not the prettiest. So this is my Sega Genesis collection. Um, I don't know how many games I've got, but I've got probably 160 Sega Genesis games. So anyways, I really like it. It's pretty cool. I've got some very, very good games. Like, I've got both the Shining Force games, which are huge, huge, huge to me. Uh, friends of mine had these growing up. They traded them in. I never thought I'd see them again, so I finally picked them up. I love that. What else do I got? Uh, of course, I've got Ghostbusters on the Sega Genesis, which is an amazing game. I did a review on that. Only recently, I actually picked up Dick Tracy, which I'm very excited about. This is actually an excellent game. I actually found out about this because I saw GameZack actually did a video and they talked about Dick Tracy, and then it became a quest of mine to go find it. So, anyways, I finally have Dick Tracy. This one's probably going to end up coming up in one of my reviews at some point, I would say. So, guys, just below that, you'll actually see my 32X collection, which is not super big, but I'm going to tell you something. 32X library is not super big, so I have, I don't know, like 10 games there now, not including the Sega CD ones that are underneath. Yeah, they're okay. So, anyways, uh, I'm not a huge fan of the 32X, but there's a couple games I really like. Knuckles Chaotix is really fantastic, and yeah, that's it. That's all I really want to say about that. I do like my 32X. It's a weird kind of contraption. I, I kind of look at it like Sega's Virtual Boy, if you get what I mean. Below that, I've got my Sega CD collection, which I absolutely love. A lot of really cool games here. One especially that I'm very excited about. Yeah, I'm a Shining Force fan, so I had to have Shining Force CD. And another one I'm really excited about. The definitive edition of this game. Final Fight CD. Definitely the best version of Final Fight. Home version, anyways. There's also a really good port on the Game Boy Advance, which I also have. Over here, I don't know if you can see this, this is kind of the bottom of the camera. I apologize, guys, I do all this stuff by myself. But I actually have my Sega Saturn collection. Uh, you know immediately what I'm going to show you. More Shining Force. So I have Shining Force 3, which is probably the gem of my Saturn collection. But I also just recently got someone, a very kind person, sent me along a copy of Legend of Oasis on the Saturn, which I'm really excited about playing. So. Anyways, I'm hoping to find some time where I can actually sit down and actually get to play this because it looks like it's amazing. So guys, next up is one of the biggest changes for me with actually moving my collection up here. Where I don't intend to stay here forever, me and my wife are looking at buying our first home right now and we're just kind of saving a little bit of money where we're too. I didn't want to go through all the trouble that I went with all my other game room. If you guys saw my other game room, I had a bunch of shelves up there, especially for my box systems. But 
<laughs> the truth is, the shelves that my box systems were on were originally, that was kind of a storage room, and that was actually shelves to store Christmas decorations. I just kind of never took it down and put all my box systems up there. So I didn't really want to put the shelves back up here, which kind of kills me a little bit, but at the same time, it allowed me to do something that I think looks a little bit nicer, because now I can actually look at the front of my boxes, and I can showcase my box system collection a little bit better. I'm not a huge fan of this kind of person that needs to have, like, box games everywhere, but I do really like box systems, so I'm going to show you what I got here now. I'm going to start over on this side because, well, it's all okay and cool, and I, I, it's like walking into a museum every time I come in here, I'm not going to lie, but it is really cool. What I've got here is the second Nintendo 64 box that we ever got. I actually bought this one for my brother. I had my own N64. He was constantly in my room playing it, I was like, yeah, I don't know how to fix this, and I got him his own N64. That's the original controller we got. There's our original GameCube box. There's some other stuff there. Vita box. Uh, Super Scope 6. My original PlayStation. There's the DualShock for the PlayStation. If you go over to this side, you start to see some more of the Sega stuff. Like That's my Sega Saturn. I never actually had that new. I got that after the fact. Below that, it's a Sega 32X. My original PlayStation 2. Panasonic 3DO. Love this thing. I'm so excited to finally have it. Sega Dreamcast, that's our original one we got on opening day. There's a PlayStation 2 Slim I've never ever opened. That's still sealed in box. Uh, my beautiful Sega CD, one of the best Christmas gifts I ever got. Even though people hate the Sega CD, I loved it and I was so excited to finally get it. There's a classic Genesis box. I love this, but I kind of wish that it was the Alter Beast one. That was the one I was really going for. That's probably one of my most desired possessions outside of a box Model 1 Sega CD is actually uh, the Alter Beast box Genesis. I would love to have that, but you know what? That's cool for now. Then you can see just on the side here, I've got a box master system, and there's the Model 2 Genesis that was actually my first Genesis I had when I was growing up. To show you the rest of the boxes, let's flip over to the other side of the room. So obviously, guys, this is my favorite part of the room the, of the box systems because it showcases off my beautiful box NES collection. I actually have four box NESs. One you won't see in this because it's a little bit too big and I can't really get to it, which is my box NES power pad system. And that's to the side. That's actually under my desk. You'll be able to see that when I show you guys the desk and the setup I have for filming videos. But I've got everything else. I've got the control deck, not my original, but it's the exact same box and style of my original. So that was something I had to really replace. I have a boxed top loader that's only been opened once to look at. I might have opened it a second time, but that's brand new in the box, baby. That's got everything. It's beautiful. Right next to that, I've got the classic action set, which I think every single person in the entire world had growing up. That seems to be the most common of the NES sets, especially here where I'm from. Next up, we have our original Virtual Boy. Yeah, that's right. I was one of those cool kids that actually had a Virtual Boy growing up. It's actually my brother's. The original stand got destroyed, but thankfully I replaced it. <coughs> Above that, you've got our original N64, our original Super Nintendo, and then over the top, I've got an S satellite I picked up after the fact, a Game Boy Advance SP I picked up after the fact, my original Game Boy box. That thing is gorgeous. I love that. Mario Paint in the Box, my Super Game Boy, uh, a Ice Blue Nintendo 64 I got after the fact. Then over there, I've got some DS, three, uh, DS consoles out front, including the original DS. Behind that, you can't really see, I've got some Turbo Graphics paraphernalia. I've got a multi-tap and also an extra controller in the box. So, anyways, this is my favorite box wall. Yeah, beautiful. All that Turbo Graphics too. Ah. Well, that's all the box systems. How about I show you my actual systems and my system setup? So guys, this massive structure next to me is a bookshelf that now owns all my systems. I had this really cool kind of like uh, TV stand originally before, but it just didn't make sense in this room where I don't have the extra shelves. Really, the storage capacity really goes to how high you can go up, not how wide you can go across where you don't have as much room. So I had to get rid of that and I got this bookshelf that I've now renamed the Tower of Power. 
on the tower or something. Anyways, this is where I host all my systems now. So these are the systems that I currently have hooked up. They're my Sega Master System, Sega Dreamcast, Sega Genesis CD and 32X combination, Sega Saturn, Nintendo 64, Turbo Duo, but unfortunately my poor Turbo Duo, the CD's not functioning right now, so it's kind of just like a expensive Turbo Graphics. Below that, I've got my NES Top Loader, my Super Nintendo, and my GameCube. On the TV, I've also got the 3DO and the PlayStation 2. I really like having PlayStation 1 hooked up, but I just don't have the room right yet. Anyways, guys, that's all my systems I have to hook up to my giant 36-inch Sony flat-screen old-school television that weighs a thousand pounds behind me. So anyways, guys, that's my new game room. It's only temporary, but I'm pretty excited about it. I think I'm going to be pretty comfortable while I'm here, and hope you guys enjoy the videos I make while I'm in this room. Anyways, guys, <laughs> again, I hope you enjoyed, and if you don't mind, you know, I'm actually going to go play some of these games. See ya.